And what documents do you request from the owner? Uh, documents, I, I really had nothing from him, um, you know, because it was a, it was kind of a, a newer facility and it didn't have much income history. I mean, I can check my folder and, and see, um, you guys can see my screen, right? Mm -hmm. We see just the, your map is what we see. Oh, you just see the map. Okay. Let me, um, okay. Basically I just had a, um, I just had. See, he has a, he has a Google drive folder with everything in it that he needs, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I have a drive folder. That's a very, that's such a good student. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm just looking right now through it. I think it was just my, um, you know, yeah, he, he really didn't give me that much. Uh, the only thing I got from him was a survey really. And, yeah. um, yeah, see when I was, when I was talking to Armand about this deal, I was just like, there's no bank that's going to finance this. I was like, why don't you just let like one of my lenders lend you the money? So, um, I just introduced them to what to one of my lenders and they are like, you know, they're hard. It's a hard, it was a hard money loan. If you don't know what hard money means, it just means that they'll, you know, they just, you know, they'll give it at a higher interest rate and uh for a shorter amount of terms so i think they did like a year or 18 months uh 24 months oh really 24 months but you how how fast did it take you to refi out uh it's within six months i i refied out yeah see oh. and um yeah so and that was what he was worried about I remember when we were talking to you and he was just like i'm not enough i'm gonna break even and I'm, I'm gonna have to come out of pocket and i said yes you are gonna have to come out of pocket on this but essentially in six months you're gonna be able like you know you, you were able to refi that out so how was that uh, how was that process were you, still, were you excited about plus you got an extra 300, 300 grand you said right yes yes i did um i mean the refinance process you know, I, I just did it with a local bank and it, it, it took, you know, a good, I, I want to say about 60 days to, to get that entire process taken care of, but no, it was, it was great. Um, you know, they need, they obviously wanted an appraisal and, um, I just provided them all the documents I had from before, but, um, you know, it was an expensive process. I think at the time of closing, I had to come up with forty thousand dollars just to refinance the loan. Oh, really? Yeah. See, ooh, that's the hard part. About There's me. a lot of fees they add in, and then they the property. Who ended up refinancing it for you? It was Dallas Capital Bank. Okay. Okay. So yeah. it wasn't like a bigger one or anything. No, no, it wasn't a bigger one, and so. That's cool. All right, good. Well, so tell us, how are you managing this facility? Managing, I have a local boots on the ground, so. The, the, the general contractor who's doing the expansion for me, it's his wife who's helping me manage it. So I pay her right now $200 a month, um, you know, which comes up to maybe about 25 an hour, you know, with the amount of hours that she's putting in um, just to help manage it. So she does the mowing, uh, any maintenance work that needs to get done. If someone needs to be hired, like, you know, setting up the security camera, she, she takes care of that process. Um, she helps overlock tenants, clean out vacant units. Uh, if I need to auction a unit, she'll click photos and send it to me. Uh, and she's helping me with my boots on the ground. And then um, I have the call center. So between those two, most of the work gets done. I do get emails every week from the call center if they have questions about billing and, hey, should we refund this tenant? This person called in. They're moving out early. Can we, you know, prorate their rent? And, you know, the call center will have questions for me. But, um, you know. How much time are you like working on this property? Like you, how much time are you spending a week? Um, one hour a week, I would say is probably about average. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One yeah. hour a week. That's awesome. Honestly. And so he remember he lives in Miami. So, and he's, he's managing this facility in Texas. So totally, totally doable. Like I said, to be anywhere and be able to manage it.